and I'm just gonna clear out this land right here because it's kind of obstructing my house and I want the house to look pretty and have no land in front of it. Look, see how the sheep and the dog, the dog, the dog, the dog, do we have any more bones? All right, let's pick up the bones. We can get another pupper. We're gonna get another pupper. Okay, we have four bones. I'm gonna have to go monster killing one of these days. All right, all right. Okay, you ready? Oh, you know what? How the hell did you get in there? What? No, 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 no. All right, no. No, what the heck? Ah, damn it. Now I gotta, ah, how did that sheep even get in there? Are you my dog now? Oh, he is my dog. Oh, cool. All right. So, guys, come over here. Come over here. All right. Nope. Nope. You come right here. No, no, no. You get. Come over here. All right, I'm going to sit you down. All right. So, you guys already know Cookie. This guy, we're going to name him. Let's name him Waffles. We'll stick with the food thing here. Right, so this, boy, this guy's Waffles. Now, what we're, now what we're going to do is something a little bit, something a little bit odd. Now, it's not necessarily looked on. Those of you guys that know, you know, dogs and dog shows know that sometimes the best dogs are actually um, bred for their awesomeness. So we're going to have waffles. Nope, nope. Hold on. Waffles and Cookie um, go on and have a little um, dog, dog baby. And here we have our little adorable puppy. Oh my god, you look so freaking cute. Holy crap, that is adorable. Look at this. Look at this cute little baby. Oh my god, your name's gonna be Pancake. Because I like breakfast items. Even though Cookie's technically not a breakfast item, I still I still like breakfast. Oh, oh you guys look so cute. Alright, Waffles is over here, Cookie's in the middle, and Pancake's on the side. Uh, I'm not sure which one's the mom and which one's the dad. I don't really want to cross new boundaries by asking which one of them is. Because in the rare case that both are females, then, uh, what, you know, yellow. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. There's no, um, there's no such thing as, uh, you know, gender in Minecraft animals. You can't tell well, yet. So I don't know if they're going to add that in or anything. I, I, I don't know. What, I don't know what these people are doing anymore. Like, honestly, these guys have come up with so much cool stuff. I don't even know. I'm just going to make an extra little bit of bone meal here. Plant that bad boy. Now, these sheep are extremely troublesome. Don't necessarily enjoy their presence. I'm just gonna terraform here a little bit. Break the land off. Alright, there we go. Now our house seems a little bit more open. You know, open-ended. Uh, we'll sleep again. How long have I been doing this? 19 minutes? All right, so we will get a couple of episodes out of this, two episodes. Um, I assume it will take a few minutes. Uh, what I can do is I can just gather stuff for the next day. Now, what's going to be weird is, um, you know how I said, oh, we won't need that much bone meal. We're going to need a bit of bone meal here if we want to get started um, for this next bit. Uh, what do we got here? We can dump you and dump you. We have, wow, we only have 10 seeds. All right, 10 seeds is all we have. I can I can make do with that. Um, now we do have the wheat farm over in that general direction with the village, but uh, it'd be nice to instead of having to travel there the whole time, just have one right at home, right in, you know nearby, something we can reach uh, quite easily. Uh, and that's what we're gonna take this fence for, you know these fences. All right, let's do this, and then we'll come over here, and. Um, all right, what we can do is we can like share the border right here. So, uh, all right, let's see. 
a weird little um trick or not not really I guess trick but thing that I could that I would use to do would be this farm right here and um, this farm is a little bit odd uh, it's extremely odd actually it's not even very practical well it's sort of practical uh, we'll just do there's no um, walking border in this farm you have to remember to um, we don't even have uh, this much we don't have um, this many seeds I'll let you know right now but that's why we have brought the bone meal along because we're gonna um, use the bone meal and just speed up our seed production I might run over to the village afterwards and get even more seeds just to fill it up and this is a pretty big farm uh, it's also quite um, impractical but it's it's the design that I you normally use for my starting farms before I get a lot of redstone you know we can make all that cool crap so there we go right here And then we'll just have an entrance right there. So what this has, this what this requires you to do is it requires you to be crouching when you come into this beast. And I just wasted all my hoe stuff. There we go. I'll just keep that like that, just so these ones can stay. Um, do I have another fence gate? No. Do I have the materials required? No, of course. So let's. Oh, see how the sugarcane are already growing? See how fast they're growing? The thing with sugarcane is they can be planted on sand or dirt as long as they are at, uh, adjacent to a um, water block, I believe. Yeah, as long as they're adjacent to a water source block, then they're fine. We got all that iron too, that's nice. Wow, lots of XP. Uh, I'll just build one of you, and then get one of you. And then we will. Uh, you can hear the puppy, how he sounds different from the rest. Oh, that's priceless. All right, and um, we'll just plop you right down here. And we have to remember to walk in like this. That's how we're going to have to walk in. Which is kind of, you know, it's kind of like the fuck, man. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So, I like this farm. Uh, this is one of my personal designs. I have not seen anybody else use this kind of farm before. Um, that probably, you know, makes sense as to why I haven't seen anybody using it. Um, I don't know why our water source thing is all the way over here when it could be closer to here or whatever I don't even have to go inside I'm just gonna take some and put it everywhere and I'll get that last one in the middle later just run around see how fast those sugar cane are growing all right so the thing with weed is um as long as they're in four water four blocks um within a source water block they will grow just fine but um, I like to ma maximize the space that I can, so I just have nine little water blocks with, um, oh wow, is there, did I put an extra space here? Yeah, I did actually. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do, just to make sure no animals can get in. All right, yeah, and then I'll, Normally, I'd have to uh, crouch here. But when you're harvesting and planting um, seeds, you're probably going to be crouching anyway because you have to get on top of the wheat and everything sometimes, especially if they like fall in the water or whatever. So it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, personally, it's not that much of a deal breaker. To me, at least, I don't see it as too much of a problem or an inconvenience. So I like to um, make this farm this way. I'm sure you guys have better ways, and if you do have, um, you know, better methods on making farms, um, send me a picture or send me a link to, uh, like, a video, like, you can do that by posting them in the comments below or inboxing me, anything you guys want. Um, I'm always open to suggestions on how I can improve my game, and ooh, an egg. Alright, I'll pick up that egg. I'm actually gonna pick up that egg now in case it disappears. Give it to me. Thank you. Thank you. I like the eggs. Alright, that was weird. Nope, you don't want that. That's what you want. <laughs> there we go. I was going to go inside, but then I realized that I had to 
be out here. And always open the door with something other than water or bone meal because um, if you don't, then you might just drop the water and that could really ruin your plants. And also, or you might um, bone meal the ground, which can also really cause an inconvenience. Both are very, both are easily fixable, but it's just a pain in the butt and uh, I don't like to deal with that because I'm lazy. Man, look at this hoe. So basically all of these tiles are gonna be, oh, well if your hoe lasts long enough, <laughs> I just like saying hoe. I'm sure you guys know by now. I just really like to say hoe, I think it's amusing. But um, if, you, if your tiles, that's a nice little door sound that I did not notice before. If your tiles do last long enough, um, it's perfectly, uh, it's perfect actually, because you get all the possible space out of it. Uh, I think that's the... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I did have the stuff that I needed to make it. Uh, Sugarcane do not need light to grow. Uh, they Oh, wait, they probably actually do, but they grow so fast anyway that it's not even a major concern of mine, uh, especially since you're putting them next to the water. Um... They grow extremely fast, so there's no real need to uh, be worried about their light. They they grow they grow all the time, and they grow really high too. They get like four per you 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 drop four per every one you planted if you harvest it after at its full height. Um, with the wheat, you only get uh, like you probably get one or two seeds back, and you get your uh, one wheat. So. It's definitely different. Also, for the wheat, you're gonna need, uh, make sure you plant them on the uh, hydrated points of soil. You can tell because they're darker than the rest and they're probably closest to the water. Um, yeah, I think you get like th two or three actually seeds here yeah we're getting a lot of seeds and you can also always just like bone meal bone meal bone meal bone meal I uh, see how we got a couple, few extra we got 14 now so basically um, I know we won't be able to fill up this whole farm right now but what what eventually is gonna happen is that this entire farm will be filled with wheat our sugarcane farm will be thriving uh, our melon and pumpkin farm is actually going way faster than I expected it to. But um, with all of these, except for the sugarcane and um, cacti, which we'll get to later, you have to um, be crouching in case you step on any tilled soil. Now later on, when they update the game again, what's going to happen is that soil will only be broken when you jump on it. Uh, so like if animals get here the only way they can actually break in the till soil or the only way they can break the till soil is if they jump on it Which is nice and that allows you to walk around and we can basically walk around or jump or sprint I think and we can basically walk around an entire little wheat farm. Oh, excuse me. Wow. I burped in mid-session All right Well, if we we can basically walk around that entire farm and just pick all the stuff up and not have to worry about a thing um, Now we'll just pick up the wheat that we got not the wheat uh, the sugar cane that we got, all of our um, cocaine, I mean sugar cane. And what you can do is instead of having to tear them all down and replant them, if you just walk at um, normal head height, um, you'll be able to knock down every single one except for the last one. Uh, you can also actually plant them on top of each other, and we've reached around th 30 minutes of recording. So, uh, thank you guys for watching these couple episodes. I like this little autosave thing and lets me know when I'm done. And uh, if you guys uh, did enjoy these uh, Minecraft episodes, this, all this farming stuff, please leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, anything you could do, because it helps support me and it helps support the channel, and I love you guys for it. And I am out, and until I see you next time, peace!